Well, here we go. Today we got to tour a private collection of cars owned by two brothers. Word on the street is that they have around 600 cars, which is crazy. This collection is only available for viewing at private showings. Maybe someday it'll be open to the public, but currently it is not. This video will be a quick walkthrough and I won't have time to get into many of the details on most of the cars. They are, however, all unique and beautiful examples of exotics, collectibles, and rare classics. Many are one-of-one one cars produced, or at least a very limited production. I tried to get the display boards in the video of most cars so you can pause the video and read about them. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, and I apologize for the lack of detail and any shaky video footage. It's pretty hard to video and push my wheelchair at the same time, but you guys will at least get to enjoy what we got to see. with the Dewar boys and brother David. There's Isaiah and Andrew and Jacob. Mark's over there looking at the motorcycles. It's pretty big back there. I'm excited to see what they have. This Ford GT is pretty sweet. 2020 Ford GT, lightweight. The brakes. Wheels, absolutely ridiculous. Pretty hard to get better lines than that than a 2005. A couple more up there, and then swing over here. Got the Tosh, Diablo. So, yeah, just amazing what the amount of cars there is. There's the Countach, Diablo, Aventador, not a Lamborghini specialist. Huracan, that's what it is. They definitely had some funny styling back in the day with the half windows. Like a Subaru, what was that, a SVX or something? Those Subarus that had that half window. But look at that thing, just clean. So clean. Got to get the backsides of the Lamborghinis. There's your Countach. Got your Diablo. Oh, it's some good looking rear ends right there. That would be super fun. This car would be super fun. No, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> Man, look at that. Not super fast, but super fun. The Mercedes section over here. The Lamborghini Espada. sure what to think about that one. <laughs> so we're not going to cover the cars too much because there's too many to look at in a short amount of time, but it's fun to get some of the favorites on here. Yeah, the old family car. And then if you need something more off-road-ish, then you get this Lamborghini. Lamborghini LM002. That thing is clean. Yeah. 
There's the Lamborghinis over there. The Maserati here, front of the Alfa Romeo. Pretty sweet looking little car. Nineteen fifty four Maserati hydroplane. That is pretty neat. So we're in the we are in the Volkswagen section and then the Porsche section. I guess we skipped the Jag section. Gotta give the love to them too. Nine fifty nine. Look how wide that is. That's so sweet. Get the front view. More Porsches down this way. Three fifty sixes, and then over, over here, got your nine eleven. No shortage of those. Back down this side of the Porsche area. More 911. Love the color on that one. This sweet. There are. And mostly Porsche And then the back view, you can see the difference of the older Ford GTs compared to that 2020 back there. I mean, they all look amazing, but that one back over there, that's pretty that hard to like beat the speech. looks of. I better get the front of the Jags as well. It's so cool. This one has a little bit of styling cues on, like on Mel's Badger that he built, his custom car. even try and tell you what that one is okay maybe I'll try it the 1959 Auto Bianchi Bianchina Transformobile Series 2 whatever that is <laughs> pretty sweet though never seen one of these things pretty cool little car and by little I mean there's Mark standing next to it. He looks like a giant. <laughs> One of two known two-tone painted Hemi cars. That's pretty, pretty pretty. Check out this puppy. So, here's the Ferrari section we're getting into. I'll probably
probably say it a thousand times, but there's no way I can show you all the cars here. But we're just going to have to have a super quick overview of them. They're just endless, endless amounts. So David noticed this this pup right here, the 1953 Ferrari 250 Europa. This has a set of pipes on it that you wouldn't believe. Look at them bad boys. Ferrari 275. Some of these older ones, I don't have a clue, but just the lines on them are crazy. So smooth and fluid hard to stay out of people's ways too trying to be respectful of their pictures pretty sweet testarossa i remember when those came out 2002 marinello thought that was one of the coolest cars ever probably changed my mind a little bit since then of the Testarossa still has good lines even though it's old I mean I think so anyway Ferrari F40 keep on rolling down the line here Ferrari F50 Enzo. Pretty sweet to see all three of them right next to each other. Yeah, 2003 Enzo. I mean, for me, it's hard to say. I don't know what I'd choose between those three. They're just so cool. It says a top speed of 215 miles per hour. It's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> 57 Ferrari hydroplane. Yeah. Got the F12 Berlinetta, the 599. Oh. Oh, you don't see one of those every day. Old school right there. The old Jag XJ220. Oh, pretty sweet. When you're my age, which is 45, that was one of the craziest supercars back in the day. We all thought that was nuts. If I remember right, the 220 was for uh, supposed 220 miles an hour. But I think you had to be from the right era to think that this thing was cool, but definitely a little bit ahead of its time. Got the Shelby Cobras over there. I'll get over there in a minute. Go back over. To the Bugatti over there. Oh, but wait, there's another Bugatti here. And then if you don't. And then if you don't like Bugattis. Hmm. 
We got the Celine S7. That color is ridiculous. Twin turbo S7, one of 13. So the color you probably can't get real good in here, but it is pretty amazing. Really cool red. Looks like looks like through my video screen it's going to show a little bit of orange but I think that's just from that one next to it Maserati MC12 anybody watching this that plays video games like Forza and Gran Turismo and stuff it's like really at least up here in Oregon that's mostly where you see these cars is on the video games that is just that's so cool looking. So we haven't even started with that room yet. but hard to get excited over the American cars when you get so many exotics here. Not to take anything away from those. We'll get there. Go take a look at these bikes real quick. Since we skipped some of those, a couple of Ducatis, Porsche Carrera, there's the 918 again, Jaguar XJ220. It's really, like I said, going to be hard to give you guys a good view of what all's in here. I hate to just bomb through them. There's the room we came from. No, I should show that. I got the car. Yeah, see, there's so many cars you overlook stuff, like, look at the interior in this thing, and the dash. That's <laughs> sweet. Spiker. Is that what it is? Spiker? Oh, there's the tag. I went right past it. Yeah. Spiker. If you like our video, like and subscribe.